Um, so the project is called The Class because um, it, we're looking at one class. Uh, it was meant to be a fairly typical class um, of 13 to 14 year olds, which is eighth grade, I think, in the US system. It's a school which was picked to be reasonably typical. Uh, it turns out to be uh, slightly more a combination of extremes. We have rich kids and poor kids. We have um, kind of established kids who've always lived in a London suburb and recent immigrants. So the idea of picking 13 to 14 year olds was that they are kind of at a, a sort of pivotal point. They got established in their school. They haven't just arrived. Um, they are heavily into the, you know, they're kind of the Facebook generation, they're heavily into digital media, and they are making, in the British school system, they're making their um, pathway choices, they're making their option choices. And um, with my colleague Julian Sefton Green, we the two of us have been following a class of uh, 27 of these kids for a year. So the idea was to see them in the sites that we hope Connected Learning connects. Uh, it should connect their interests, their home life, their school life. And then to see if their digital, their use of digital media um, underpinned those connections and enable those connections. I think what could be done with digital media to enable learning, how kids can be committed to interest-driven projects, how they can get recognition and share their ideas through those kind of collaborative platforms, I think it's all fantastic. It's just that in my empirical work and in most of the research literature I read, most young people seem so far from that promise that I would like us to really understand where they're at and how many barriers they face before they could begin to get to that promise. They don't even know that that promise exists. I mean, it's not that they're failing to get there. They are focused on other things and by and large they're focused on pretty traditional learning objectives of getting their grades, and having fun on Saturday night. It, it is partly that the digital media now are interactive, mobile, networked, globalised, all the things that we always say about them. But I think what is really different is the, um, what I've kind of thought about as the mediation of everything. Every moment of our lives now is in some way underpinned by these digital networked technologies. And at all points in the past, whether we're talking about books or um, press or television, there were moments when you engaged with them and then there were moments when you came away. But somehow the way in which now we're always online, we're always connected, we're always, we can always be kind of hailed and pulled back into that moment, I think is different. And we've been asking the kids in the, in the class about it and they talk about it, you know, not like television, but in a way like electricity or water. It's a utility, it's a kind of basic supply that you couldn't imagine your life without.